Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen Academy. Quick recipe for both professional and the home cook. Flank steak, creamy peppery ricotta, and saute onion and pepper. A great tavern dish, a great dish for restaurant, as well a great family dinner for your house any day of the week. First and foremost, get a nice skillet on hot, season your flank steak with salt and pepper. Both sides. There. A little bit of cooking oil in a pan. Steak goes in. There. Once the steak starts searing, we're gonna flop it and it has to have a good caramelization. In this pan, we're doing the same things, olive oil, Onion, peppers, chili flakes, good spicy, regular pepper, salt. Now we're gonna let this cook. Now, right here, We have good brand of ricotta. Put a good pinch of pepper in it. And the best olive oil that money can buy. That's it. <coughs> I need the hood. Check the steak. Then what do we do? I'm gonna get some parsley leaves and get them ready. This will be more like a garnish on our steak. There. Flip it. I need a good sear on the steak right now.
keep tossing the sausage and the pepper will help speed up the cooking process and some of the caramelization. Now mind you, you don't want them wilt, you want them nice and firm. Keep your kitchen clean, seriously. Unless you're Bobby Flay, then you also have people helping you. I don't. All I have is Nick, the producer of the show. Good for anything regarding production, useless for most other things. Although I gotta give it to Nick, he does the dishes sometimes. That I appreciate. I'm always fair, most of the time. All right, onion and peppers. <laughs> Tender spicy. <coughs> I got the facial with the steam from the onion and pepper. And there is the chili flake that gets your nostril. Like chili flake is like Italian wasabi. If you eat too much of it, you get your brain, your brain slapped like both-handed. Woo! Now, look at this. Good caramelization on the steak, so we're gonna turn it off. Look at that caramelization there, guys. Good, good, good caramelization. So now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have my steaks resting on the cutting board. There. Get these things out of the way. All right. I mean, I don't like the smoke, but I do like peace. This is peaceful. This thing is like freaking vacuum. It's like, my God. It's like Dyson vacuum, like at 9,000. All right. Now the steak is resting, very important. By letting the steak rest, you redistribute the juices inside. It's very important. If you're a professional chef or anybody that is around food and you don't let your steak rest, na bueno. That's Spanish for not good, okay? You gotta do that. All right, now. This, check this out. Pepper and onion, there. Look at this. There, look at that. There. There. You see the ricotta is releasing some of the oil. You never had the steak served this way. Absolutely delicious, different, creamy, amazing oil. Crunch of pepper. This is so freaking good. Ouch, God, mother. Ah, it's hot, of course it's hot. I, I cooked everything on the damn fire and then the plate's sitting here, you idiot. Damn. All right, here you go, nice grill mark on Fabio's hand. This dish is delicious, by the way. Look at that. Creamy ricotta on top of a piece of delicious, buttery flank steak, pepper and onion. This is the perfect, perfect bistro dish. Look at these things. You're watching Fabio's Kitchen.
Hey guys, now that you've watched, you know this is a good recipe. How about you go share it for once?